So we were really fortunate last year to be able to attend the Target ALS meeting in Boston and that's where we met a lot of the collaborators that we're now funded to work with on our consortium and we're just really you know we're very impressed and taken with the collegiality of the meeting and the community and we're really delighted to be a part of it um, funded for our consortium now. We've actually had a great experience working with Target ALS since last year and also being funded in the last six months. We um, have contacts both within the organisation. Those people um, have put us in touch with um, people in industry to be able to further our um, project, even to become more creative and to think more widely about how our um, research could apply to um, you know, new therapies and diagnostics. Um, and so actually it's been a very supportive community and you know it's been a really positive experience for us definitely we're very we're very happy to be a part of the community yes yeah, so the goal of our, our project um, is uh, there's four research groups um, uh, geographically split across the world and we meet regularly um, and we are all working on using RNA aptamers instead of um, antibodies to detect TDP43 pathology and FOS pathology, um, so to be able to detect early aggregation events that could drive the early stages of disease. And so really the goal is for us to think about how we can detect disease early um, and, and at much lower levels, so perhaps even in the pre-symptomatic stage. And so really if we can start um, identifying patients for clinical trials prior to substantial disability and motor loss, we really have an opportunity to um, start thinking about treatments that um, could prevent um, prevent the illness, and so that's really the goal of our research: is to find early um, biomarkers, early and robust biomarkers.